Hello everyone, welcome back to another video with me. My name is Kai and Candy Doll. If you're new here, then welcome, welcome all. This is a shifting video. I'm trying to be quiet because I don't want to wake anyone. I tried to record a video earlier. The internet is actually giving me trouble, so I'm using my phone. So if you notice the camera quality is a little bit better, it's because it's from my phone. For some reason, I can't seem to get my internet up and running, so I had to do my thumbnail. I had to do everything on my phone, which I I can't say that I hated it. It was actually a lot faster because my computer is really slow. I'm going to jump right into what happened the last time I went back to my hero because a lot has happened. I actually found out some information, like some something that I thought was squashed kind of wasn't. So there's that, the issue with me. Hiroshima, and then there's Candy Crush with my whole prediction thing. Everything's in 3D now. If you play the game, it's in 3D. For some reason, the whole land is 3D. When I went there, remember, when I did my shifting video before all this stuff changed, I was saying how everything was in 3D. I, think it's, I just think it's really weird and it's oddly connected in some kind of way. I don't know. And it kind of freaked me out just a little bit. Also, I entered their contests. I was trying to um, win money, but... And I actually made it to the semifinals. If I want to continue, I have to go over to London to compete with, like, I guess maybe 100 people. And I don't think I have the money for it right now. Also, I don't know if I'm really looking at the camera. I don't know where the camera really is supposed to be on this phone. I'm recording it the long way so you guys can see me better. I don't want to turn it. But yeah, so. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to jump right into what happened when I went there and so if you think the Candy Crush thing is crazy I definitely think it's really crazy that that happened the way it did so there's that so um I don't know I'm gonna give you guys this a quick little recap last time I went back there some stuff happened Kirishima basically um stuck me and not just me but a bunch of other people so I knew that you know I needed to come up with a plan to get him back you know, normally don't you don't try to get back at kids. But in this case, I wanted to because of what happened. I feel like it was unnecessary and I wouldn't have been there if it hadn't been for him. I would have got what I needed and I would have been able to get out. But, you know, there's a reason for everyone's silence. I was wondering why no one spoke up when they had the chance. And there's a reason for that. And I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. So what happened was... I went, I got up, went to the school, um, and I decided, you know, I would start my class. So I'm in there getting my things out. All the students come in, they're all sitting down. You know, all my normal kids that are in UA. And I noticed that Kirishima is not actually in class. So like, okay, he, I guess he decided to skip class today. I don't know, but I didn't, I just thought that in my head, like, this kid's probably just skipping class to maybe avoid me. But I don't really care about the situation anymore because it already happened. It's over. Anyway, this is how I'm seeing it. So I'm taking my things out and Endeavor comes to the door. He's like, uh, Principal Nezu needs to see you in his office. There's a few other people there for like a little meeting. He's already filled me in on what he wants to do. He's just going to let you know now. So I'm like, cool. So I go over to Principal Nezu's office. And I look back while, while I'm walking over there. I look back. Endeavor is like in the door. He like glances at me. I'm like, and he's like, he does he makes like a, a chest noise and does this like no one ever wanted you like whatever so I sit down they're they're discussing um so from now on there's supposed to be a extra teacher watching your class every couple days so someone from like maybe math or science or whatever will come to like an English class or a science class or even though it's not their class and so-called observe to make sure everything's you know everyone's doing well and they would basically have a question sheet with them and the question sheet asks, like, does it, how does the teaching affect the children? Does do the methods work? Is the teacher with the children? How close are is the teacher with the children? How hands-on did they do their job? And you basically have to write in detail. And eventually, I'm going to get a turn to do this, too. Sit in someone's class, Mr. Aizawa's class, or maybe class D or whatever. I get to sit in one of their classes and observe. Even though I have no interest in doing that, I just want to continue to teach my own class. So then he's like, we're going to put cameras up. We're going to place them everywhere. He said, this is just a protocol to make sure everybody's safe. 
and so we know what's going on with this glue. So basically, when we shell, we fill out our tin sheet, we have to fill one out for the whole day. So if you, if you were there in the morning, some of the kids that leave in the afternoon, you have to write their names down. You have the initial next to it, that sort of thing. So then, um, I was literally sitting there, and I'm just like, "This is a freaking disaster." <laughs> This extra work I don't want to do. Like, if it's my day off, I don't want to go sit in someone else's class to observe what they're doing. So, you can understand why, like, I didn't really care. And then I'm just like, I have a class to teach. I can't sit through, a, like, an hour-long meeting. I have work to do. So, I go in the classroom. I take out the rest of the physics stuff because we're going to work on physics stuff. And we were going to think about, I was going to, we were going to think about how we could use our quirks against the physics or how to make it. How to improve our quirks with the physics activities that was coming up with it for the kids because we do have a classroom and then you guys know i have another room that's a huge like a huge obstacle course or whatever for like the kids to be challenged on so then um i was like and ever was in there and he's like oh he's like you're back already i was like yeah it was just a quick lecture telling us what we we're gonna do he's like you heard about what we have to do I was like, yeah. He goes, he walks past me and he like, kind of like bumps into me. He's like, I wish you would. And I'm just like, like, dude, you still have beef with me? Come on, like, get over it. But anyway, I'm just like, whatever. So I go in the classroom. I see Tokoyami, Kirishima, and um, Kaminari sitting there. So Kaminari, he's glaring at Kirishima. Like, and then I, you know, Kirishima, I'm just like, okay. Well, obviously he showed up because before when I did attendance, he wasn't there. So now I got to go back and get the attendance sheet. So I'm just like, okay, whatever. Because especially if we're planning on going on a trip, I need to have his name down. So I go back in the office to get the sheet. I'm just like, stay here for a second. And I, walk, I run past Endeavor. And he's watching me run past him. And he's just staring at me. I'm just like, what? He's like, nothing. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> the thing is, I'm still, I'm not coming after you. Like, you don't have to have your guard up around me. You're safe, Endeavor. Like, I don't want you. So, I get back into class to write down Kirishima's name. And he's gone. So, I'm just like, okay. What? Midori is like, I think he went to the bathroom. I'm like, whatever. So, I just write his name on the attendance sheets. And I go, guess what, kids? When we get out of here today, we're going to the carnival. And it's going to be after school. That way, we don't have to hurry and leave. And it will inter interfere with, like, school time. It'll be perfect. Plus, it's perfect for how I plan to get them all back. Because originally I was going to get like some drugs and drug everyone. There's also something called a... Uh, anyway. <laughs> so. Rewind it forward. We did all the training and everything. End of the day. So I, I'm trying to convince Midoriya and the others to get on this new carousel. It's called the Endless Carousel. And basically they, they stamp your... They put a stamp on the back of your hand. And you're able to ride the carousel as many times as you want throughout the day. And you don't have to pay anymore. So you pay one time and you can ride it all day. That's why it's endless, okay? Originally, it's my idea. It's actually a real idea I had here, but I decided to take it with me, but, you know, use it as punishment for the kids for what they did. So I condensed, convinced, uh, so I had Midoriya. I had, um, and Kirishima, he did not get on the bus with us, but somehow he ended up at the carnival. So I had Midoriya, Kirishima, Kaminari on there. Kaminari was mad at Kirishima for some reason. Tokuyami was just silent. And Midoriya was just weird. So they all get on the carousel. So then five minutes go by. They're still on there and it's not stopping. So then they try to get off. And I basically, I put like a, a field around it. So they have to be stuck there. And I'm like, look at all the wonderful rides you guys could have got on. But you decided to get on this instead. And they couldn't get off. And they were like, we're hungry. And I'm like, you just have to suffer a little. You know, like, I'll make them suffer a little. I'm not going to hurt a kid. I'll make, I'll punish them enough to where it's like, okay, you know not to bother me. Another thing I was going to do is just make it so that, you know, and this is kind of weird and creepy, but I thought about it. Make it so that everybody just falls asleep. And I can do it simultaneously where they'll just fall asleep. And then they won't even remember falling asleep. They'll just remember waking up and be like, what the heck? It'll be one of those things like, you know, because I don't know. I just don't like, I don't like being played with. I don't like the little games that they have or whatever. The physical games are called what I was doing, playing games, even though it wasn't. I was literally just after. I just had a target and that's it. I just wanted to hear. I was trying to spy. 
and these kids just ruined it. So, so anyway, um, Toshinori shows up. He's like, um, come here, um, Kai and Katie doll. He's like, I'm making you some ice cream. And I, your favorite ice cream is cotton candy. So I'm making some cotton candy ice cream. So he makes me some ice cream. He's like, do the kids want ice cream? I said, no, they can't get off their right. He goes, what, why not? I'm like, because they can't get off their right. Simple. And he's like, what did you do? I'm like, it's punishment. He goes, punishment for what? What are you? So then the kids are trying to get off. They can't get off. And then I noticed one of the kids broke the force field. And they all got off. And they're all just like sitting down on the bench like everyone had their head down um none of the girls knew what was going on they actually went to but they didn't know what was going on but Kaminari and them were acting weird Kaminari was angry like he was just like breathing heavy and just like like you know how kids when they get upset they get like they huff and like puff he was staring at Kirishima so then Kirishima he decided to run off and I go I'm like Kirishima wait like Hiroshima, get back here right now. Get your butt back here. Like you know how <laughs> like Hiroshima don't freaking play with me. I'm a mom, okay. I'm a mom, so I know how to talk to him in that voice that makes you go, Oh crap, I better stop running. But he didn't, he just took off. So then Toshinori was like, I'll go get him. And then so I get ready to run after them. Midoriya grabs my hand. He's like, Miss Cotton Candy, I don't chase after him. I'm like, Yes, I'm gonna get him because of what he's doing. He's acting out now. I don't know what his problem is. If he has a problem, he can talk. And Kaminari goes, that's not it. And I go, well, what is it then? So then Bakugo folds his arms. He's like, no. I'm like, what? He goes, no. I'm not saying a word. So then Tokoy Tokoyami is just like, well, are we going to get ready to go back to school? I'm like, everybody get on the bus right now. Just get on the bus. I was like, I don't have time for this. So we were getting ready to get on the bus. And Toshinori is like, well, Hiroshima ran off, but I know why he's running. And I'm like, so I'm like, enlighten me, you know, and Toshinori enlighten me. Why is he running? He goes, well, Toshinori, not Toshinori, um, he goes, Hiroshima and Tetsu, 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 they decided to have a fight. They had an all out fight in your classroom. They, and they got in trouble for it. So apparently they got suspended. So Hiroshima right and tetsu 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 were suspended listen to my words when i broke into that when i not when i broke into when i was eavesdropping in that that school where there were supposed to be no kids in there he and tetsu 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 were suspended so kirishima should not have been in the school so i go oh he wasn't supposed to be in the school he goes yes that's why he's running away he probably just wanted to come to the carnival i don't blame a kid for wanting to have fun I'm going to talk to that young man because it is it is wrong. And I'm, I'm like, Toshinori. And he's like, I'm going to go find him. So Toshinori runs off again. He's like, I'm just going to look for him or whatever. Because I guess he didn't find him when he ran off. So then Tokoyami is sitting there staring at me. He goes, you know what? I can't take it anymore. And they're like, you're not going to. And, Kir and then Kirishima is like, not Kirishima. Kaminari is like, fine. We'll tell you what happened. So then I'm, I fold my arm, I'm just like, what happened? You know, because I'm the only one in the dark hair. All of you guys know what's going on, but I have no idea. Even though we all got caught and I'm the one who got thrown under the bus, whatever. I'll do it for my kids if they're going to be honest with me, right? I mean, then I will stand up for, for you if you're going to be honest with me. Because there's obviously there's something I did not know. So then Tokoyami is like, my job was supposed to be to infiltrate this place in the dark i was supposed to use dark shadow to grab the papers and then when he said papers he said not papers but i was supposed to grab something that uh he forgot and then bagogo is like you idiot you're a freaking idiot and kaminari is like i'm like what is it and kaminari is like well Kim kirishima never showed up at the school but then we saw him when he was in the office. He never showed up at the school. He sent us to go get his items. So I'm like, wait, I know the rules. The rules were given to me back in 2022. No, 2021, I think, when I started working at UA High. I was told that if a kid is suspended, they're not allowed on the property because they could face being expelled. 
So why would Kirishima willingly walk into that place? And then Kaminari is like, it wasn't him. And I go, what do you mean it wasn't him? He goes, it wasn't him. He's not the one who was in the school. It was someone else pretending to be him. So I'm just like, I, I don't, like, I don't follow. I don't understand why someone else would be there and not him. How did they know he was suspended? Obviously, there is a spy in the school, right? Who knows these things? Bakugo is like, you guys are a bunch of snitches. I'm out of here. So he goes and he sits on the bus. He's like, I'm going to wait on the bus. Kaminari is like, I said enough to you. He got up and got ready to leave. I go, wait, Tokoyami, please tell me what happened. I was like, I got your back. I got your back. He's like, are you sure I'm not going to get in trouble? Because I've already betrayed my friends. For what? To tell you so that you can be upset with us so we can get more punishment. And I'm like, I don't want to punish you. I just want to know what happened. There's somebody infiltrating the school and I need to know. And if you tell me you're technically... Technically, you're helping. So Tokoyami goes fine. The day that we had our fight, I guess Kirishima, not only was he suspended, but he got hurt. He is not even in, he's not even where this, he's nowhere near school. He's like gone somewhere out of town. He realized he forgot those papers. Apparently, there's an area he wanted to work on for like the junior licensing or something. There's an area he wanted to train in. But you have to be tested in order to be in that area. I hate my hair getting in my face. So you got to be tested before you can get into this area, right? Well, because he got suspended, he wasn't able to, he was not able to study for it. So he was going to cheat. So Tokoyami said he was hired to him. He said Kaminari ended up going with him. I could go basically got pulled in. And Midoriya was there the entire time everything happened. He was just in the background. So he knew everything that was going on. Kaminari had agreed if he was going to go to the school. He was basically like me. I have nothing to do with it. But he was there. People saw him. So he couldn't have nothing to do with it. Just like I couldn't have nothing to do with it. So they were going in there to steal papers so that he could cheat. So that way he could pass his exam. So he could be able to work in that region. Because he had to study for this exam. But being but when he got suspended... He would not be able to study because all the material at their school. They could have just grabbed the material. But instead of doing that, they decided they were going to cheat on the exam. That was their problem. Now, Kirishima, whoever it was, they said it was a big spectacle when they fought. So everybody saw. When he got in trouble, everyone knew. Therefore, someone knew Kirishima would not be at the school. I didn't know that, though. So that's why Midoriya said... So Midoriya said, now that he explained everything, that's why I told you to stop. That is likely not Kirishima. And Toshinori will probably find out who he is. And Toshinori comes running back again. He's like, he disappeared. I don't know where he went. I say, I'll just find him later. Everybody get on the, everybody get on the bus. So then I tell Toshinori, someone's infiltrating the school. That it was not Kirishima. He goes, right, because he was suspended. And I'm like, yeah, he was. He goes, right. So who was that? I'm like, I don't know who the heck that was. And I didn't want to tell him, like, hey, they stabbed me in the neck last time. You know, blah, 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 blah. Because for some reason, I thought whatever it was. So in my head, I wasn't thinking, like, this had anything to do with me. I thought maybe I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. We get back to the school. The kids go in there. In there and they, the whole time, the kids are like, please, miss, please, miss uh, kind Canada, do not tell. So I'm like, fine, I'm not going to tell anything. You guys just get the class, just do what you gotta do. So they went in, they all started packing up all their stuff. So while they're packing up their things, I look down the hallway and I see Kirishima's peeking at me. And then he runs off in the other direction. So then I follow him. So I'm following him and now he's walking. So by now everyone has pretty much left the school. Like I heard them leaving. The lights didn't go off or nothing, but like I was alone in the school with so-called Kirishima. So I get closer to him. I'm like, Kirishima, look. I'm like, I know that you're not really Kirishima, okay? But I need to know who you are and why you're infiltrating the school. And he's like, I'm surprised you didn't recognize me right now. And you're supposed to call yourself my friend. Like, I figure you're supposed to know who I am. It doesn't matter what I look like on the surface. You should know me, period. And I'm like, what? 
Then he turns around, his eyes have the shouting gun in him. It's freaking Madara. So I'm like, what the heck are you doing here? And he's like, I heard that one of the kids was going to be absent. And I came to spy in his state on you to see what you were doing. You looked like you were having a lot of fun and I wanted to join in. But I didn't know this kid had got himself completely expelled. I'm like, he's not expelled. He's suspended. He's like, well, he's suspended for a really long time. I, I'm like, yeah, two weeks because they don't tolerate fighting. They just don't. And he's like, do you want to spend a day with me? I'm like, no. What do I look like spending a day with a child? I'm not a pedo. He's like, what's a pedo? I'm like, nothing. It just means you're too in Kirishima's body or too young. He goes, oh. He turns into his full body and he's just like laughing. So we're laughing and talking. And I hear somebody coming down the hallway. And I'm like, it's freaking Endeavor. I know it. So then we're like hiding around the corner and I hear him. He's like, Miss Cotton Candy, I know you're back here. I don't have time for your games. I'm just going to let you know right now I'm watching my back. Everything you do, I'm watching. Apparently he still thinks I'm after him. So then he says that and he walks off. And so like, Madara is sitting there laughing and I'm just like, it's not funny, okay? This is not a funny, like, thing because he thought it was after him. So then he's like, whatever, so you have time to spend with me. You know, your friend who I wanted to be your friend and stuff, but you haven't been hanging out with me lately. He's like, did you think this was over? Like, do you think our friendship was over? I'm just like, no, I didn't. I just, I wasn't thinking about you. Sorry. You just are not on my, you're not on my plan. I have too many people. Plus, I got someone who's possibly thinks I'm coming after him and he's not. He started laughing again. And I'm like, why are you laughing? And he goes, I think it's funny that he thinks you're after him. I saw the whole ordeal. I'm just like, so you're just sitting back watching everything? Why don't you try to help? Why don't you erase parts of people's memories so they can't remember that crap? It has saved me and the kids. He's like, I'm not going to interfere with that. I just, I'm just not. And I'm like, you know, whatever. And you call yourself my friend. I didn't get mad or anything. I was just like, okay. I'm not, I'm not doing this again. Next time, I'm just going to wear the hat. Oh, this is so annoying. I'm trying to talk to you guys and I keep messing with my hair. I think the video quality is good. Don't you guys think it's okay? You think it's okay? I think it's okay. I don't think it's bad. So anyway, so that's what happened. And so then when I left the school, they didn't see that I left with Madara. He stayed in there. He's like, I don't want to cause any trouble. So I'm going to stay here. I'm going to hide. And as soon as I came outside, Kago stayed in there. He's like, who are you in the school with? I saw him and you with a man. I was like, I was not with a man. He's like, yes, you were. Was it Endeavor? I'm like, no. He goes, whatever. Well, I was coming to tell you that tomorrow I'm going to be keeping Froyo again. So if you want to come see him, you have to come to my house. Let's all spend some family time together. Let's have like a picnic. I was like, okay. He did. He did want to leave. like a, and then walked away. I was like, Goodbye. He was like, goodbye. I love you. So he started walking off. So at that point, I stood there and I'm just like, everything makes sense now. Everything makes sense now. The reason why Principal Nezu was acting the way he was, he could have told me Hiroshima had been suspended, period, which I didn't know. I didn't know my room had gotten broken into. I didn't know they were playing in there or fighting. So I was the only one of the loop. I was clueless about it all. That would all make sense. But Kirishima stabbed me in the neck. That was freaking Madara probably trying to like do some funny crap. I don't know. Which I thought was weird because I thought me and Kirishima and the rest of the kids had grown a closer bond to each other. That's what I thought anyway. So I wasn't thinking he was really going to come after me or do anything. Because we kind of close now. We like tight. He said he was we were cool. He said we're, cool. we're good now. So then he went shifted back here. And then, um, recently, yeah, I've been trying to shift other places because, like, I've been trying not to go there as much except for Frodo. And then, once in a while, I'll go there to see, like, my men because, you know, I have to see them too. I can't ignore anybody. I haven't hung out with Madara lately. He's right because, and I do have the most fun when I'm with him because we just do regular stuff. I like having that relationship. It's like it's almost like having a best friend that's like a brother or something. We're really close. And I should have known, you know, when I had not hung out with him all that time, of course, there would be some problems. 
the other days at my hero I spent with um, Frodo, me and Frodo, and Toshi know we made ice cream, homemade ice cream at his house. Like, I like trying to do stuff that's homemade sometimes. It's fun to do it with Frodo because it always gets ruined, but we always come up with something in the end. It never, like, completely gets destroyed. Like, we had this wind-up machine where you put milk in, but I was dumb. I didn't add cream and stuff in it. I just added milk. And it basically just stayed milk the whole time. And it basically just splashed all over us and stuff. Like, he kept splashing it. And I had to give him a bath and stuff after because he was all sticky. And then uh, I've been letting Ibaku go. And I've been letting Ibaku go keep him and stuff. He's been learning the responsibility from that. He's been learning to be more gentle, believe it or not. And I think Frodo has helped him do that. And then you have Toshinori, who, like, me and Toshinori have just been spending a lot of time together. Um, the last time we were together, I was at his house. And um, I told him that I was hungry. I came and I sat down. I was, like, sitting on his lap. I was sitting, like, in front of him. We were, like, making out. He was filling me up. I was filling him up. And he thought he was going to get lucky. But then I kept saying, like, I really want that ham and cheese sandwich. And he's like, I need to feed you. So he got him and gave me a sandwich. But he still was kind of just like, how do you feel about Endeavor? So he's still kind of insecure about that. So me and him, we went on like a couple dates and stuff. We've been doing that lately. Just i really just been spending time just doing little stuff with him here and there. And then shifting back because I just do not have the energy or time to worry about it right now. But Frodo is so important, such an important part of my life that I have to put him before everyone. So literally my time with him will be... I'm going to spend time with him again Thursday. I might go back to the Frodo and me videos at some point. Just not right now. My camera isn't working. I still want to birth Mario. Like Super Mario. I still want to birth him. I, want, I need to either make him in like a mode. Or I'm going to buy him. And just birth him like in his clothes. Inside of a. In an amniotic sack. I'll probably fill it with fluid and do that that'll be like entertaining and fun because i love mario but I def i've been saying for the longest i want to birth him and no one has said anything in the comments no one said i want to see you or anything like that so i kind of held off on it i can definitely get him inside of a sack and then cut it open and put all the materials there i don't know if i want to do baby mario or if i want to do grown-up mario so write in the comments if you think i should do baby or grown-up I, was like, I think I'll end the video here. Um, it was nice to talk to you guys again, even though it was on my, even though it was on my phone and not on my regular camera. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to give, give this video a like if you hated it. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you're notified when other videos like this one become available. Ding! And I'll see you guys in my next video, everyone. Uh, am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. Everybody, thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.